All right, Adam, so we've set up the tank sensor and it defaults to fuel. That's correct. How do we change it to another fluid type, let's say freshwater wastewater, and show that on our plotter page? Okay, so you know how we uh, connected that, that fluid level calibration wire to ground? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna connect Channel 311, calibration enabled. The ground. And we're gonna get the Empire Bus tank sensor calibration mode activated. We're gonna hit OK. Okay. Then we'll go into add another page. So we're gonna set up, add a page. And you'll notice page two, we have all these different switches. So now we have switch 100, switch 101, 102, et cetera. So what that does is, for example, switch 100 is set for fuel. You'll notice that when I change it to 101, now we have changed the resistive tank one set to fresh water, and now we have a fresh water indication. In this top bar that we see on our page here, you preset in I've, one of our data bars? That's correct. So I set that up pre, so we could show it shifting as a different tank. So then if I went to switch number 102, that's probably going to be wastewater? That's going to be wastewater. Ah, and then switch number 103, that's going to be our black water. And then switch 104 will be our live one. Okay. And then all working independently of each other. That's correct. And in this instance, we just have the one fluid level sensor on there, which is resistant. Yes. Right? And that's all we have. But we can do multiples. If we, we can do two. So if we did another tank, then switch 106 through 110 would be where you set the value, the same values that we just did for that tank too. Okay, so if I had a port and a starboard fuel tank, that's where I would start on 106? That's correct, for your other tank. For my your starboard, starboard fuel tank. And now they would work independently, but they both have those tank sensors. That's correct. Perfect. Well, thanks, Adam. We appreciate it. Thanks, John.